you probably don't know these guys, but if you're in Africa, they will be coming to your phone in the coming months. Meet Noam Shazir and Daniel De Freitas, the founders of Character.ai, the market leader in AI companionship. When is the last time that you felt that your lover, your wife, your husband, your friends, your colleagues, simply weren't hearing you, understanding you? For most people, this is a fairly frequent feeling. That's why 20 million people have already flooded character.oi because it promises them super intelligent chatbots that hear you, understand you, and remember you. One of these 20 million people was Sewell Setzer, a 14-year-old American boy who became obsessed with the chatbot on character.ai. He began believing that this chatbot was in fact his baby sister, a sister who truly loved him, had him, and understood him. Tragically, in February this year, he ended up taking his own life so that he could be with his baby sister. My heart goes out to his family. His mother blames character.ai for her son's death. AI will either be Africa's best friend or worst friend. Generative AI will run this show. Generative AI focuses on creating new and original content, chat responses, designs, synthetic data, or even deep fakes. Africa can and must tap into this AI optimally. It can increase Africa's productivity across the board. Economically, AI could propel Africa into a new era of growth and innovation. In agriculture, where the livelihoods of millions in Africa depend, AI can optimize yields by analyzing soil quality, weather patterns, and pest data, giving farmers invaluable insights. By embracing AI, Africa can not only build resilient economies, but also ensure a future where innovation and inclusion go hand in hand. However, the downside is steep, very steep. There is zero AI regulation in most African countries and in the African Union. Many argue that this is a good thing because AI must be allowed to fly where it will, but not if Africa isn't part of those planning the flight path. Since new tech usually takes longer to reach Africa, the AI companionship apps will probably be all the rage in Africa in a year or two, or a few months even. With no regulation, they will run amok, especially amongst the young people. The last thing we want is for millions of Africans to become emotionally and intellectually reliant on AI. That's already happening and it's gonna get worse once the companionship chatbots go mainstream in Africa. Many of these apps are designed to simulate girlfriends, boyfriends, and other intimate relationships that will slowly kill Ubuntu, the fuel that drives African companionship and solidarity. Nothing can replace human relations. AI can teach you how to make a burger and even make it for you but it cannot eat it on your behalf. Neither can it consummate a relationship physically or a host of other intimate, uniquely human acts. The tragic death of Sewell, the 14-year-old American boy, raises a vital warning. AI companions blur the line between reality and virtual comfort, a risk especially acute in Africa where mental health resources are often scarce and mental illness stigma remains high. Hyperrealistic AI companions could create emotional dependencies that detract from real human connections, risking increased isolation and depression. The threat of job displacement looms too as AI-driven automation stands to disrupt manual labor markets across Africa Low-income workers who rely on repetitive tasks face potential displacement. And without careful management and innovation, the rise of automation could leave these workers behind. Additionally, limited access to AI education and resources threatens to deepen inequality, 
reserving AI's benefits for the privileged while widening socioeconomic divides. In this scenario, AI could exacerbate inequality instead of leveling the playing field. Ultimately, AI's journey in Africa depends on how thoughtfully it is embraced and managed with balanced regulation, an emphasis on accessible education, and a focus on mental health safeguards. Africa can shape AI into a supportive partner rather than a silent adversary. AI can indeed be Africa's best friend, but only if it is thoughtfully guided along a path that uplifts rather than harms.